large part of game day events is the print station. At the print station, we can photograph fans with school trophies, special guests, or on a green screen in which we can add custom graphics that give the appearance of the previously mentioned or provide exciting branded graphics that fans want as mementos. Although the setup can vary, the main components remain consistent across all properties. Marketing components include the pole and crossbar system that supports banners and signage. Photography components include the green screen or backdrop, the camera, and lighting. Fulfillment components include computers, printers, and POS equipment. All items have been positioned to allow for maximum efficiency and the setup itself will now be outlined to provide the fastest and safest setup. The setup can be performed by a single person, but typically we utilize a minimum of two people and if possible, three. Many steps may be overlapped if two teams work simultaneously. Setup begins by positioning base plates and upright poles to establish the perimeter of the station. By performing this step first, it prevents repositioning of equipment later. To start, set out the four crossbars to form a rectangle. Next, place the four base plates in the corners of the crossbars already laid out. The crossbars should touch the base plate nipples. Now place all four upright poles on the base plate nipples. Leave them at the lowest height. Retrieve the four banners and place them on the correct sides of the station prior to placing them on the crossbars. Once the banners are hung, start raising the upright poles one click at a time. This has to be done in sync so the poles do not bend and so the hooks do not break. Most banner sets are three feet tall, so uprights will need to be raised to 10 foot to ensure head clearance. At this point, teams can split so work can begin on computer equipment while green screen and lighting is completed. Please review videos or documentation on your type of green screen. Then continue on with the rest of setup. You now have the exterior components in place and can begin on equipment or if equipment has been started by another team, continue on to camera setup. The calzone case serves as storage for equipment when not in use and as workspace during events. Make note that many connections should remain in place after initial setup. Place the main cabinet in the front middle as diagrammed in handouts and remove the end tables. Skirt the table so equipment can be placed on top in its proper location. Don't forget to lock the wheels. Further diagrams will not include the skirt to provide better visuals for equipment placement. Place the monitors in the appropriate locations and lay out cables for attaching to power and laptops. Set up laptops and complete cable connections. All ports and dongles should be labeled to provide you the exact location where they are to be inserted. After PC equipment is ready, begin the networking connections. Place the network switch in its appropriate location and ready all cables and power. After Ethernet cables are connected to the laptops, power up all equipment. Next, set up the printers. Once again, remember that under normal circumstances, all connections within the calzone case will already exist and most equipment will simply have to be plugged in or turned on. Bundled cords will be Velcro tied together to allow for easy connection to laptops. Connections to USB hubs and network switches may remain in place when not in use. It is important to ensure cables are secured and hidden from view. Be sure to load balance power needs by following directions on which power strips, printers, and laptops get placed. Power on all equipment and ensure all equipment is functioning properly. Make note that the main laptop that has the printers connected has darkroom started and running prior to opening darkroom on the secondary machines. Darkroom is the green screen software and is discussed in other tutorials. Finally, we connect the cameras. Begin with the base green screen settings on the camera and flash. Follow directions as outlined on handouts and test the settings 
by shooting some test shots and then printing them out. The camera may be handheld or set on a pedestal or tripod depending on your location and storage availability. If utilizing a stand, make note of distances from the green screen as well as where to place marks for fans to stand. Proper placement is very important to help alleviate shadows and ease dropout in the software. Once again, be sure all cords are secured to prevent accidents and equipment damage. At this point, you should have a print station ready to go. Happy shooting!